2.0, and we are at the beautiful Old Hickory Golf Club with the special events manager, Charlize. Hello. And the reigning beautiful America's Miss Shana. Hi. So tonight, why don't you tell us what's going on? We're actually hosting a comedy show tonight with special guests Herbie Gill and Matt Kazam. Um, we also have a buffet going on tonight and some other great things. Uh, now, this facility has won an amazing award, uh, I think, in the bridal world. Yes, we do offer um, special events such as weddings and um, bar mitzvahs, anything of your choice. Our facility holds about 200 people, and it's actually a hidden gem, so you should come on and visit sometime. Can you tell us where you're located? Um, Woodbridge, uh, Lake Bridge side. What's the biggest crowd you've ever performed for? Uh, I did something in uh, in Philadelphia for about 2,000 people. It was in a, a college stadium, and uh, that was a lot of fun. I think I might be a cat racist. <laughs> I think I'm racist against cats, because I was staying with some friends that had cats, and they asked me if I minded cats, and I found myself saying the same thing about cats that racist people say about minorities they don't like. They say, hey, we got a couple cats. You mind cats? I'm going, mind cats? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Listen, I don't have a problem with cats, per se. I, I just don't want them around me, that's all. You know, like, let them have their air, me have mine. That doesn't make me a bad person, does it? I mean, my mom is afraid of cats, but she grew up in a different time, so don't worry about her. My grandfather even owned a couple cats, kept them out in the yard. You were phenomenal. The crowd loved you. I mean, what keeps you going? What makes you continue the dream? Their laughs, you know. I mean, there's a little kids laugh 400 times a day. Adults laugh three times a day. So the fact that I can bring this to them, you know, and, and raise the average, and you know, I'm blessed with being able to do this, have this gift. So, uh, so just their laughter keeps me going and inspires me. And as long as they keep laughing, I'll keep doing it. I respect the military so much because look at me. Like I'm so out of shape. I couldn't even join the Salvation Army. I'm so <laughs> <laughs> like I pull something, ringing the bell. Like, ah, pop the hammer. So, uh, and I'm sorry I'm sweating, but I'm chubby, and I'm pretty sure it's keeping me alive, so, uh... <laughs> now, your voice sounds familiar. I think a lot of us might have heard you on the radio, right? Yeah, I'm on the 106.7 The Fans Mike Wise show uh, a couple times a week, and uh, do different characters on there, and uh, they've given me a great platform. Uh, you know, D.C.'s really home. I'm from New York City. But we moved here in 10th grade, so, you know, I'm a D.C. sports fan, and to be able to, you know, go on every week and, and make fun of that stuff and have a good time there and, you know, reach 6 million people potentially is great, you know. Can we get a little sample, just a little smidgen? Oh, well, I do this character, Dr. Bambusis. Dr. Bambusis, is a, he operates the Gatorsburg Center for Human Medicine, so uh, people may know that guy very well, you know. Um, and then, you know, it's uh, the Redskins have been great, you know. I mean, it, it, it's bad if you're a fan because they suck, but... That there's a lot of funny there, you know. I mean, I, I used to wear Albert Hainsworth out, and when McNabb was here, and I'm hoping, hoping we get Peyton Manning because uh, a quarterback with no neck is going to be hilarious. So, what did you think of the the comedy show? Oh, I thought it was hysterical. He was great. Both of them were great. What do you think of the atmosphere? Oh, it's nice. We didn't do dinner here tonight, but um, you know, I'm, and I looked, and the drinks were great. So, so you'll be back. You, I mean, this is probably one of the the more premier places in Woodbridge to have a wedding. Would you? You heard about that? Yeah, I yeah, I heard them announce that. And, and in the you know, in the uh, reception room when you come in, you see all the 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 uh, advertisements for it. So. I mean, it is a beautiful place, so I'm sure it'd be a great place to have a wedding, an engagement, a birthday. So, what did you think of the show tonight? It was really good. It was really good. Both both acts were really good. Yeah, we thought it was wonderful. It was really funny, and uh, I love. I mean, I laughed so hard. It was wonderful. They were really, really funny. I had a great time. This is kind of great entertainment right in the backyard here at Woodbridge. Absolutely, absolutely. Yes. Very uh, convenient, very comfortable. The atmosphere is very, you know, family oriented. So we had a great time. What do you think of the food tonight? It was good. Salmon, roast beef. Roast beef, um, yeah. And Mashed then we potatoes. had uh, salads. Uh, the green beans and then the cookies were excellent as well. Would you highly recommend having a future event here at? Absolutely, absolutely. I think uh, it should be also, uh, this is, should be recommended also for we the come younger here, people. We come here for New Year's every year, uh, well, for the past two years, um, and, um, and, and the other events that we have here.